here is the BMX box uh, casing pretty nice so what I have here is two one is actually going to put tacos and one of them so that's for the person I actually bought it from so let's open the box and let's see what's inside that's the knife I used to open it Wow I love it especially the itzig design on the um, frame a lot of Chinese words that I don't really understand the cables and a heat temperature sensor temperature sensor uh, P minus B minus a little bit of the specs later I will tell you what it does and a whole lot of bunch of stuffs yeah and the cabling the two tiny black cables are the temperature sensor and we also have the leads those are the red ones underneath and also the BMS system so this is the battery I'm basically working on today it's a Nissan Leaf uh, each cells are um, they are basically lithium uh, each cells are rated 3.5 volts nominal but with the Nissan Leaf you have um, 3.5 times 2 um, because they come in packs these are the leads that's the leads for the cabling these were actually pre-installed these are not the ones that I'm basically going to use like you're going to see here it's actually a whole battery like you see the screws basically um, are rusted so I think I'm going to be doing something about that so the pre-installed BMS um, leads um, the, the negative and the positive pretty tiny this would fit into my BMS but I won't be using it I want to use something on those are the cablings like the positive the total positive cable that goes into the inverter um, not directly though I will show you where the uh, pulse bars are um, Oh, those are some batteries that um, some let us batteries and yes the BMS system again um, pretty nice design like I said and here's what some of the specs that it has um, 0 0.6 amps 80 amps 120 amps I don't actually know what else all this means but I'll check it out but it says 17 XP SP don't know what that means also because I know it's a 16 S um, battery pack and this is where the BMS um, leads would go into and that's the temperature sensor it has a red light don't know what that does yet I'll check and find out um, the temperature sensor that's where it goes underneath um, so this is the inverter that's currently powering the um, Nissan Leaf batteries It's an expert inverter this particular one is called um, iPower the battery actually saves 53.1 volts so I'm only installing the active balancer and BMS so that um, voltage can actually go um, um, can be shared into the battery themselves so I'll be turning off the inverter to make sure that I can actually work on the batteries and do some other things okay so it didn't go off and I'm going to be shutting down from the, the solar and that should actually make it completely go off now it's off, now it's time to work on the battery. So I have my brush and my WD-40. This would actually clean the rust on the battery and basically that's what I've done already. This is the bus bar that connects from the battery to the inverter. <laughs> so i'm all connected i have the negative um the b minus to the battery and the p minus to the bus bar I brought the bus back closer to the um, BMS system and balancer and 
<laughs> as you can see a whole lot of leads right here like they're just too much it was a real also trying to make this work um, the I needed to add um, 5 volts of extra power into the battery and that would actually activate the BMS I tried a whole lot of bunch of stuff but it didn't work but after I actually did that and uh, it eventually worked and now I can access the BMS so this is what it looks like inside the app and shows you the um, cell count I changed that in the settings to 14 and you can see on the red side that it's speaking for battery that's the red one and putting in the number one battery